going to refine some silver. Let's do those bits of broken jewelry. bits I've got from the auction is that and then we're gonna scrap this lot. This is some scrap silver I got from the auction this week and I'm gonna be refining this to nine 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 That's my next venture. Weighs 154.5 grams. These are the bits I've got from auction. On the right, the royal gold pieces, and maybe some carrot gold, and maybe some rubbish as well. Maybe some gold plated, I'm not sure. Some of it is really old and vintage and anyway. Uh, on the left we've got silver. So I'm dissolving them both in nitric acid. I'll drop the silver out after. And then we'll refine the, the foils from the uh, roll gold. So I've managed to get them both in that casserole dish on the heat. And it's doing the job. We'll uh, filter them. I'm going to rinse them out first, put some fresh uh, water and nitrate, see if there's any more reaction. And we'll go from there. And the silver, this one's been filtered. And this is what we've got left filtering. So we'll drop this after with some copper. Yeah, I made a mistake and accidentally put hydrochronic acid into the silver solution from a different filter. So, what I've done is I've added more hydrochronic acid and we're going to do it the uh, the sugar sugar way. Sodium hydroxide and sugar. Is it lye? I've never done this before, so this is the first time. So I've added more hydrochronic acid. And I'm going to add a bit more and then clean the solution and then we'll add the sodium hydroxide so let's see well, I've added some more hydrochronic acid and the silver chloride is starting to settle so I'm going to wait till that's settled and then I'll get all that green blue liquid out of it and this is the silver chloride it's settling really well so I'm going to leave that about half an hour and then I'll uh, get that blue liquid out of it so I've just added I've cleaned it I've cleaned all the silver nitrate then I've added uh, about a litre of water um, and now I've just added about 12 spoons of sodium hydroxide and there's no heat on there and it's boiling, boiling to the touch, really hot there, that's the reaction it does. So this is the first time I've done this. And uh, got a lot of projects going on. 
but yeah this is the, the silver and I think next I need to just add sugar to drop out the silver and I'll be doing that next I'll uh, put the sugar in and now the silver is dropping to the bottom I think we'll wait until it's all settled it's a good stir that's the waste Just see, leave it a while and see what happens. So I'm washing this out now with uh, hot water. Silver I'm left with. I'm going to keep rinsing this. Oh, a couple more rinses. Until it runs clear. Yeah, it's dropping straight away. It's pretty clear the water now. So I'll make this the last rinse. got the silver I just melted it into a button it's a bit dirty but it's gonna be uh, putting a silver cell soon so it'll all be made into pure but it's gonna be up there it's gonna be 998 that's 46 grams in the auction this, this month just add some scrap And we'll see how much that's worth. It's not a lot, but it's something. Yeah, I shouldn't have done it in a dirty crucible. That's where that dirt's come from. Anyway. That's done now. 